but that Thanksgiving turkey is just sitting in my stomach. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Usual Podcast, season two, episode 36. Round of applause, please. Nah, nah, I don't like that. I, it's so loud. It's so loud. It's so, I, it's so loud. I feel like I feel like it like it like it, you, you 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 know when a, it, when you're at school right you're at school and then the teacher had the had the chalkboard the eraser and they smacked it against the thing to get you quiet you just gave me you just gave me thoughts of that and I didn't appreciate that hey everybody welcome back to the you should know podcast season two episode thirty six I hope everybody had a tremendous tremendous Thanksgiving or whatever you celebrate. I have, obviously, I ate good. I'm sitting here with a good old, full old ham, a good old ham hawk sitting in my tummy right now. If you haven't already, if you look below, you see that subscribe button is it pressed, you're wrong. If you look even more below that, you see that comment section isn't fulfilled with your name, even more wrong. Go ahead and say hello. I know last week we spent about 35 minutes um, talking about the live show we had in Dallas, opening up for New Rory and Mall. And so it was a little bit different of an episode. Not too many, like, stories or funnies. Guys, we are back on the BS. It is about 7 in the morning right now. I am so tired. But guess what? A little secret for all the day one You Should Know podcast fans that really know how we get things going. Come here. We got the secret forbidden Starbucks drink. Oh, this is going to be a absolutely wild episode we got co-host cam in the building and you know like i said last week every episode we are gonna give away a og signed you should know podcast the first merch we've ever put out uh the first piece that is signed by uh, me and co-host cam and we have a winner drum roll please I hope they can hear that. The winner is for week two, Isaac Vasquez. Round of applause for Isaac Vasquez. Isaac, that will be shipped to you, A S A and O P. That's not that's that, that's not a saying that I ju- I just created that off the top of the cranium. Guys, we got an amazing episode for you today. I am wearing no show socks because last week y'all took a tumultuous that's a big word tumultuous amount of screenshots of of my gray socks, black socks that weren't clean. I told you not to do it. You put it in the Discord, you put it on Twitter, y'all tag me on your stories. I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it. I thought we had trust here. I thought we had something going and y'all broke that for me. Just kidding. I love you. Everything you need to know is linked in the description below. Merch, P.O. Box, Instagram, me and Cam's. What else is in there? <laughs> well, that everything you ever have question in your life, you want to know how the ocean was made, it is in the description below. We're going to have an amazing podcast today. I feel like I'm about to spry off the walls. Let's get into the rest of the podcast. It's never too early to play holiday music, and it's never too early to start thinking about gifts. Whether it's for a friend or the friends in your pants, you can make this season to be jolly with Manscaped. Do your little drummer boy a favor and use the Lawnmower 4.0 to avoid another silent night in the bedroom. We don't want that. Then add in Manscaped's top of the line shower products to have the people thinking, all I want for Christmas is you. Santa cares about his sack. And so should you. Look nice when you get naughty by going to manscaped.com and use code PSH for free shipping and 20% off. I tell you this every week. If you want a good gift, if you want a gift that you know somebody is going to like, a man in your life, or maybe a gift for yourself that you know you're going to like, go to manscaped.com. Get anything on that website. I'm telling you, it is a gift that you will hold on to until the wheels fall off. I will not lead you astray. Manscaped is top of the line product so go to manscaped.com get 20 percent off and free shipping using code psh at checkout that's 20 percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code psh manscaped get your jingle balls ready for the holidays now back to the podcast the you should know podcast oh we got co-host cam i thought you were going hallelujah ha you said ho i said ha we got co-host cam Brick. Tuck, put your legs down. Back in the studio. You're too You're too large. You're How you doing? Snuggie, your hands are like a. Li- no, no, we did that. Snuggie no, I'm done. I'm done. I've done. I did that like two weeks in a row. I'm Just done. Shut up and do it. All right. 
It's like the, the Starbucks drink is starting to infiltrate the brain cells. It's starting to get in there, and I'm starting to get real wired. Why did you do that? You get the guy with the bob. What? You freak. Stop. Dude, that was a big flinch for me for no reason. Dude, because you know I, I could physically harm you. you so know, I, don't, I don't know why I flinched. I have powers in the pause. I could physically harm I you. I have powers in the pause. You know these pause. Do we need to pull up film? Pull up film of what? Of oh, just me asserting my physical dominance. I don't know. What film is that? Because I've never seen that footage. Uh, I don't know. Last time in your apartment. Who filmed that? Oh, there was never film. So you it just was, said pull up the film. So it was, it you're was more like you're no you're a known like liar. You're a known liar. You're a known liar. Okay, let's see if you're a liar. Who won? <gasps> Who won? <laughs> lie. Lie on that mic. <laughs> no, uh, I, 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 will I will say this again. I will say this again. We're back again. Uh, Co-host came back. You're not saying anything. <laughs> yeah, I just segued that. Took my... Took my those are... Those you are, took this. I took this. I hate I hate that you yeah, do that. It's, it's very it's, adolescent. It's bad. It's very it's bad. It's, it's you're a grown man. Thing. Yeah, I, you're, you're a grown I man. Gotta stop doing you're a grown man. You know what? Who did that? The Jameis Winston? <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> sick. In front of other grown men all making millions of dollars and he's going, You know what this is? This That's that's bad. I would never do that. You know what'd be a shame, Cameron? What were you gonna say before that's sick. What were you gonna say before? It would be a shame if you, those are some nice new sneakers you got. Oh. I would Oh What happened? Oh <laughs> what happened? Hold on. What happened? Oh hold on. Are you trying to what are you doing? I forgot about the the release oh. didn't get it. That was pretty quick. Uh, <laughs> didn't get it. Please try a different size. Try again. Um, they're all sold out. Good. I'm sorry, babe. You deserve that. I tried. You know, those are some nice new sneakers you got on. It would be a shame if my size 14 just happened to get placed right on top of those. It so would I be would a shame because these size 14s would then end up imprinted on the side of your cheek. You know what we should do one day? What should we do? Whenever we do Pony our McGee. when we do our next live show, mm -hmm. we'll we'll talk for about two minutes. <laughs> we'll talk for about two minutes, and then we'll just wrestle in front of everyone. Just give them a live. We'll combat. take our shirts off. We'll put they baby signed oil. Up, they on signed us. up for a, a live podcast, but they're getting two FC. Will you put <gasps> oh, two FC? I meant to say UFC. Two it's so whatever. early. It's very early. We should put baby oil on our chest nope. and okay. then just wrestle. That's where no. You know that's actually a sport. Wrestling? Some, no, like baby, like oiled wrestling out in the fields. Mm -hmm. Your algorithms are strange. I've it's never seen that before. It's not on my algorithm. It's uh, it's just fact. <laughs> you got a lot of useless knowledge up here. <laughs> you got a, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how was your Thanksgiving? We just good. got back from Thanksgiving. How 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 was your meal? How how did things go in the, in your household? A lot of food. Uh, we were with uh Olivia's family. Oh, nice! Times, Shout out to Olivia's always. family. Um, fantastic food. Sleeping, waking up, eating more food. You know, you know how you do. You yeah. Plate, you take a nap, get another one. What are some, you know, growing up, mm -hmm. what was your Thanksgiving looking like? What are some things? Why are you laughing so much already, huh? You got something to say? What are you ensuing? What are you trying to get at? I just want to know what kind of dishes y'all have. You just think I'm a mayonnaise warrior? What do you What do you think's going on here? What's What's your season looking like? A little paprika? Oh, you thought it was just salt and pepper on the chicken, huh? Say what you really think, huh? <laughs> no. Is it because I'm from the mountains of Caucasus that you think I'm just a mayo warrior? Kim, this is what I, I imagine your Thanksgiving uh, plate looks like. <laughs> what? That's like a third grade lunch. No, my Thanksgiving growing up was always good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't sound too common to that. No, it was great. It was it was always good. You put raisins in the thing? Nope. I'm <laughs> never a fan of raisins. I was never that type of, you know what, to crunch like corn chips on top of something and drop it in. Never that. <laughs> you okay? What what kind of plates are are you using? Huh? <laughs> what kind of plates are you using? Um. <laughs> so at home for a majority of my life, it was always like real dinner plates and whatnot for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. But now at uh at, at Liv's house and her side and whatnot, we typically go the old disposable route. No one needs to do dishes afterwards. You just get a good old Dixie plate. Uh, is how is how is it set up? Is everybody allowed what in? What are you getting at? What are you trying to get at? What are you trying to just crowbar out of me right now? Is everybody allowed in the kitchen whenever things are going on? It's like a funnel. I mean, yeah, but it's, oh, is that an unspoken rule and that's not allowed? 
Only the only whoever's putting their foot in it at the time. <laughs> you got to be ankle deep if you're in that kitchen. Oh, I agree. You have a kid's table? We did. We did have a kid's. Is that another? No, that's normal. Oh, okay. That's good. We had a kid's table. Oh, normal. So I'm unnormal. I'm a freak is what you're saying? Just okay. Little, no, it's just a little unseasoned. Yeah, that's all you are. Keep it just unseasoned. Okay. What kind of drinks y'all got at the we're table? The, we're the unseasoned ones. <laughs> Uh, drinks was typically like water, sweet tea. <laughs> Good old H two O. Hey, if you know me, you know I'm a fan of water. Like straight up, just. Your my name's of water. Cam. Hey, sir, can I get you anything to drink? Water. You sure. Yep. That's all I need. You know, that's another thing about you that really tickles my. is when we go places cam i think we've touched on this a little bit but cam is like bargain central cam makes good very money man. <laughs> cam will go there's no reason to not see if you can save a coin dog we will go places and like cam me will, and olivia and you and everyone else involved in my life will appreciate it we'll normal make we've been to this place a hundred times wherever we're at we'll, we've been there a hundred times say it's a chili's chill chili's affordable Ch place Ch 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 Shackers. It's, 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 it's spit it out. It's 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 a oh, shit. It's a affordable place, and Cab is like, y'all got any coupons on this okay. salad right I here? Cab, it's a it's a house salad. I don't ask for coupons. I ask for deals. Do you have a deal? Me and my bride, we're both gonna get this, that, and the third. Is there any combo package that you can sell to me? No, we'd be, at a, we'd be at a gas Two station. Two for twenty-five was absolutely phenomenal. We're, we'd be at a gas station. Cam's trying to, you know, fill up gas. There's no coupons or discounts on gas. Okay. Cam be like, I ordered this pack of gum and a water. You can't come in any yeah. slack. Can't take five cents off the gallon. Just, just cut it off the top. Of it real it's quick. like extra sure. numbers. Configure it for me. We'll be about our day. It's not how gas works, sir. It's not. But hey, what's the worst they can say? No. Yeah, but it's just like, we we work hard for what we have. Yeah. And it's just and like- I want to keep it. There's certain things you got to buy, and I'm trying to keep a coin. Uh, yeah. Oh, I have a story. And this is like, I got to be careful how I say this story, because uh, the cause it is a personal story to us. Okay. And the environment we were in and who we were with, okay. some people are no longer with us. Oh, I already know what you're saying. <laughs> I already know what you're saying. That pissed me off. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the pizza story because that's just say, no, no, never, no, no, no. No one's ever too good for my money. <laughs> you know who you are. You know exactly who you are. I'm looking right into your soul right now. <laughs> They're not watching this. And you're no longer with us. So <laughs> sounds like they died. Take that. You're not dead. Fully alive. Just not with us. You're, Sorry, that was a little villain Jesus. arc right there. I miss you. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. No, you sit down. You put don't you dare touch me after that. My hands are tucked. You're not getting nothing from that. No, you do not. No, you do not. No, you don't. No, you don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. You don't. I know you don't. I, don't. I wouldn't allow you. Nope. Continue the story. Go. Cam, okay, so you know when you're with old people. There's something in my mouth. <laughs> what? <laughs> get it I've been trying to get it out. <laughs> um, okay, you, you, I don't like that face. I don't like it. You're going to be a meme in the Discord. Oh, it's fine. Um, I think I got it. Okay, what it tastes like? <laughs> Floss. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, old people, they don't really... They have a short temper, right? They're not too good, like, with people. They're very senile. Yeah. Cynical. Y you remind me of them whenever no. it's with waiting staffs. <laughs> oh, my God. You're talking about an Austin. That was... A, it was such a genuine mistake. Long story short. <laughs> oh, lie. Say the story. I want you to see your version of the story. We're sitting down... Okay, basically, we're sitting down at this restaurant. It was pretty busy, right? So we finally come to the table for the first time. She comes... The waitress comes to the table. We're ready to not only put our drinks in, our appetizer, but all the food. We've already been waiting. So we're sitting down. She gets our drinks. Do we want the appetizer? She gets that. And I have a very simple question. Because right. on their menu, it said, like, uh, no substitutions. Like, for whatever. For your meal. But I didn't want one of the things that was on it. So all I asked was, <laughs> is, there, is there an extra charge if I get rid of this and replace it with bacon? Like, if I just put bacon on my plate, but get rid of the other thing. I don't remember what it was. And she was like, oh, yeah. And I was like, okay, well, how much would that be? And then she said a number. All I did, I said, okay, well, yeah, we can do that. So it's not the normal, it's 
Because, like, a side of bacon was like, I don't know, again, I don't remember the numbers. Let's say $4. I was like, so it's not the $4, it would only be like two fifty upcharge? And she was like, well, yeah, it's, um, well, it's, no, it might be $4. And I was like, well, is it $4 or is it? And then they all just blew it out of proportion. <laughs> That's not the last thing you did. Like, I was so I, just. Whenever we got the check or something, I don't know if it was we got the check or when she brought the food down, something wasn't right. And you're like, yeah, I didn't order that. I did not say it like that. I might have said those words, but I did not say it like that. We were all like, damn. I, it probably was when the food came out, the thing that I specifically asked for not to be included with my meal was still there. And she had this big water jug in her hand. She was like, sorry. Yeah, she looked so defeated. And I was like, I promise I wasn't trying to be mean. I was you, just saying like. Yeah, you deserve a loogie in your food after that. Oh, you know what? I have, a, I have a fear. Delete it? No, I said I'd still eat it. But you, You'd eat a loogie in your food? I was about to say. But you know I'm a hunger man. Yeah, you're a nasty little boy. Um, what was I, I gonna to say? Eat. What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? You have a fear of Oh, uh, cause if you think about it, there's a lot of trust that goes on when you're ordering oh, food. Like there's strangers there. back there. Yeah, and, yeah. and God knows what they're doing, their gr gr grummy little paws. Oh, we saw a sick example at the state fair. Oh my god. Exactly, and Huge that's just... we saw it. Imagine how many times in our life that we've gone out to oh. eat. Oh, what have we digested? What have we put into our mouth hole? I don't like to even think of that. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't like to. Oh think my of god. It. Yeah, it's. Oh my god. I just gotta hope every time it's cooked at a high enough temperature that it just burns all that bacteria away, just fries it out of the out of the universe. Mm. And there's flies. There's and a stuff. funny. Uh, it's not funny, but joke I'll share with you. <laughs> uh, why does why does hand sanitizer only kill ninety nine point nine percent of germs? Because if it killed 100% of germs, you'd never buy it again. <laughs> Come on. Now. If it killed all the germs, you'd never have to repurchase their product. It's actually genius marketing. Anyway. You're a germ. Um, I think we all are in our own sense. You can share that one. Here's another one. Here's a funny one. Shout out to... Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, sure. Shout out to uh, K10 <laughs> for this one. What did the fish... What did the fish say... Oh, what did the fish say? <laughs> what did the fi oh, yeah, you know a lot about those SHs. <laughs> what did the fish say when he ran into the wall? Ow. Damn. <laughs> Cause it's a damn. You know it was funny. Oh, you suppressed that laughter. <laughs> you know it was funny. You, you, my drawers are too tight. You and get some new ones. <laughs> Manscaped. You enjoyed that one a lot. Manscaped, you know you if you're did. watching this, send me some new draws, please. <laughs> Un oh! Hoover. It's a homicide. And, and. Hoover. <laughs> Hoover, why did you kick him off? Yeah. <laughs> Hoover, why'd you kick him off? Come on now. Hey, Dragon, get a better grip. Don't let, uh. Don't let him <laughs> fall. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him fall. Yeah, Hoover, keep uh, him up. Uh, um, um, Hoover, Dragon, and yep. <laughs> did you did you uh, do anything for Black Friday this year? Oh, uh, I did. I actually purchased what? A de purchased a decent <laughs> amount of uh, of gifts for family and friends, and it's great. Black Friday is always such a phenomenal um, uh, an experience mm -hmm. because it truly is an experience. It used to be better back in the day. No. Yes, it did. Back in the day, it was phenomenal. I have very oh. specific memories of me shivering almost to death, like hypothermia levels, waiting for the lines to open at like 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. I but now it's like, ooh, Black Friday, come at 4 p.m. on Thursday. I like that, though. I hate it. You know why I like that? Because I have like a horror story of Black Friday. Oh, Lord. I, it like scarred me for life because it was my first Black Friday experience. When I was a kid, my mom and my aunt, she would they would go Black Friday shopping for me. I was too young. I had to stay in the house. They don't want me outside that late, and they know people are crazy. I was right there in the streets with him. Ooh, my name's Cam. I could do whatever I want because I got wide hips. Okay. <laughs> that hurts. So does your hip. It does. But anyway. And so I remember I just, I, I remember one year I was old enough and my mom said, Peyton, you can come Black Friday shopping with me. I said, oh my da, God, da, da, da. I get to see the streets. I get to see what everybody's talking about. I always see the wild videos on the news or like on YouTube or like iFunny at that time. Oh, Ooh, iFunny was lit. Time. <laughs> I loved iFunny. Sick time. So I remember I was like, okay, I've seen all this. I need to prepare for like crazy environment. Nothing could, could prepare. 
Nothing could, <laughs> nothing could prepare me for what I saw on That's my good. first Black Friday night. That was good. What? Nothing could prepare me. Nothing could compare me. And I put this to compare me. I sent up with the hair win. What? <laughs> with the what? I need local law enforcement down to uh, blankety blank blank. I got it. Good lord. Um, nothing could prepare you. Nothing could prepare me. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's nice. Focus. <laughs> I got a candle. Boosh wrong. And I've got a spot. <laughs> All right, shut up. Go. Go. I hope he's still alive. I don't even know who he is. So. Shine down. Don't know. Fine. <laughs> Fine down. <laughs> but, um, so, nothing could prepare me. I sound like Ruby when she hyperventilates. Oh, Ruby might be making a guest appearance. Hopefully. Here in the near future. Hopefully. You can see her bad hips, too. She gets it from her dad. <laughs> That's why y'all share vitamins. She's ador- We don't, but she's adorable. She gets her vitamins. <laughs> her mine. Greek yogurt. Yeah. But, um, so, w- meme. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it again. All right, come on. You got to go. Just say it. I'm not going to laugh. Go. Nothing could prepare you. <laughs> Why are we recorded? I don't morning? know. Go, 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 go. Nothing could prepare Dude, you. Dude, I feel like my legs aren't a part of my body. That's, I don't know what that means, but sure. Go. Mine are very much a part of me. I'm shaking them right now. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Got a little bit of a muffin. So. Uh, <laughs> go. 21. <laughs> Can you do something for me? <laughs> go. Nothing could prepare you. Start. So. Just give me 10 seconds. All right. <laughs> Give you a sec- okay, we're good. We're good. Get off your phone. Act like you like me. I was trying to give you 10 seconds. So. <laughs> this fucking shit. <laughs> Just go say it. Okay. Just look over there. All right. No. It's going to make it worse if I look away. Just go. Embrace it and go. You look like you're in pain. I don't want the podcast to be like Go, this. go. You have to fight through it. Go. Okay, then shut up. <sighs> that the first one was the first one was like initial pain and the second one was like you kind of liked it you're like ah oh all right bro come on you're there's no way your belly button's already wet there's just no way <laughs> he's a, a starbies demon all right, please go. Like, they don't want to see this again. Come on. Just go. Bro, this shit is contagious. It really is. Like, I don't want to laugh right now, but I can't control it. Go. Honest, honest to God, I'm not looking at you. Like, we're done. I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> Go. Okay, shut up, dude. I'm trying to focus. I can't even, what was I talking about? I don't even know. It was a Black Friday story. <laughs> oh, yeah, nothing could prepare you. <laughs> Go. I'm, I'm dead ass. I'm not laughing. I'm so serious. Dude, what is wrong with you? Please hurry. Okay. You, just, you gotta be quiet, dude. You gotta be quiet. You gotta be quiet. So, so, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, <sighs> bro, I'm stop! I'm cutting this shit out. No, you might have to stop. <laughs> Okay, we, I really, we finally I do, I, got back together. Because it's a good story. It is. And we we finally, got back we, together. I don't know. I see. It's just delusion at this point. We the finally, person from the pizza place? We finally <gasps> wrapped it up. And no, we finally wrapped it up. Okay, here Laughing's we go. Laughing's done. Here's the story. Black Friday. All horror right. story. All right. But we'll see how horror, horror, how horrifying it is. There we go. So my... So Mom from, in your arm. Uh, yeah. 
to help so you. for this specific Black Friday, my mom decided we're going to go to this place called the San Marcos Outlet Malls. It's this Ooh. huge outlet mall in Texas. Great it was shopping. like a 45-minute drive it from is. our house. Oh, and I know, too. That hot-ass day. <laughs> that was a legendary day. That was. Okay. So we get to... So we get to the outlet mall. Don't you, don't you, you are literally tweaking in front of me. Come on. So we get to the outlet mall, and I've never seen anything like this. There's just people everywhere, just lines outside. And it's November time, so it's cold in Texas. I know for everybody else it's that like lives everywhere colder, else. But yeah, but it's cold for us, and I'm shivering. I'm a kid. I'm nervous because there's a lot of people. I don't do well in crowds. I never have, but I have my mommy, so I know I'm okay. Now stores are starting to open. They're starting to let people in. This is before Black Friday was like online or they would do stuff like early in the day, like 4 p.m. You can come and do their stuff. This is when you were in the trenches, like late at night. You have to like fight for what you want. I didn't know they really took it literally when they said you have to fight for what you want. I saw, I kid you not, a grown woman, 45. She had a baby in a stroller, but the baby, it was too big for the stroller. Its legs were touching oh. the ground. It could have, it was like steering like it with its up, legs. It's like get up and yeah, walk. He can walk. Yeah, get up. They were fighting over, the, we were at Bath and Body Works for my mom. She wanted something. Bath and Body Works is popping on Black Friday. Something I've never Bath seen and before. Bath popping 24 7. I know, but on Black Friday, it's nothing but Those a bunch candles. of. I know, but on Black, Fr candles. on Black Friday, it's nothing but a bunch of middle-aged women that are like really on the proud. Really aggressive. Oh my God. Very, very hunt you down-esque. I don't know what this thing was called, but it was like the main item on this Black Friday for Bath and Body Works. It was on this big display and there was only like one left. And so a bunch of people were trying to get it. And it was like, like the Roman Empire, like people were fighting to get their last meal. I don't know what was going on. So this woman that had the two big baby in the stroller that the feet were touching, she grabs it. Another woman, I'm a. She, she looked like her name would be Karen. Okay. She's like, I wanted that. Nope. Th that's not how that Don't works. Care. Yeah, you didn't touch it. Oops. The woman that was hold that was pushing the baby says, back up, forearm straight to this region, straight to the chest. I'm like, oh well, no. She's not playing any games. My mom goes, oh, it's about to get popping in here, and I was like, what does that mean? What, what what's yeah, about to know, happen? I, I, I just smell a bunch of fragrances, yeah. and there's a bunch of middle aged women. How could it be popping? Vanilla bean Noel. What's, are they popping the beans in the back? What's what's popping the bean? The vanilla bean Noel. Okay. Yeah, whatever. So she goes, don't you dare push me. Grabs that woman's forearm, bites it. I swear, Cam, I know you think I'm lying. I swear to God. It wasn't like a full, like, ha, ah, but it was like they were tussling with the arm, and she's like, yeah, and like takes a little, ah, like this canine teeth. The security came and broke it up, but there was just soap everywhere and shit. That was my first Black Friday experience. And so you experienced cannibalism. Yeah, and there was on like Black Friday there was over like, a can. <laughs> there was like a sneaker store, like on the other end of the outlet mall. Apparently, somebody got. Rough environment for Black Friday, dude. I remember. I remember when that story from New York came out. Like the Walmart in New York, it was like uh, they opened the doors all at once, but it wasn't like a capacity thing. Like you just like open the doors and people were going. You know how they always have the best Black Friday deals on like the uh, not end caps, but like in the middle, the little what are they called? Um, like if you go to a kiosk, kiosk. Like the little kiosk in the middle, it'll have like so they bring it in on a pallet. The stuff's all wrapped up. It'll be like two hundred of whatever it is, and it's in the middle. Apparently everyone was rushing to these, so, like a woman, I believe it was a woman, fell over and literally people were so worried about just items, physical items that anyone can buy because it was such a good deal that they literally ran over her and trampled her and she died. Like Damn. she actually died. R.I.P. From like getting like just feet to the skull, chest, heart, ribs. That's just, such a that's rough way to go out. insane way to go out. Like Black Friday shopping and you get trampled. And then think of those people that did it. They got to, like, live with the fact, like, I oh, did this to a person care. over a person, television. Every single person there was probably like, that wasn't me. Wasn't me. They could play the video back. And they're just like, oh, but mine was only one foot. That's sick. It's rough. So, dude, Black Friday was phenomenal, though. That's what I'm saying. I'm glad that Black Friday now is kind of how it is. I don't like it because it takes away from Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the whole reason, like, the whole holiday. How long does your Thanksgiving normally last? Like, what time do you eat? Like, lunchtime every year. Yeah, so like 12, 12-ish. 12 but like it was always like, so eat at 12, uh, Cowboys game, stuff like that. You go to sleep, wake back up, eat more. You play games with your family. You're just hanging out, you know. Yeah. But now it's like you eat, you take your little nap, you wake up, and you're like, all right, I got to dip at like 4 
to get to that store and get in line to try to get this TV. When it used to be, all right, I'm going to eat, take a nap, wake up, eat more, go to sleep, get all your ads out before like mm -hmm. mobile phones were really, get really Get your empty. coupons. Get all your yeah, ads, coupons, know exactly where you want to go, circle stuff on the page, get it all ready, get your coats, get your bag, everything, and then you go out and it's just like, it, it felt more like a quest back then and now it's just like, well, let's hope we can get it because there's probably people camping out already. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and a lot of people also shifted to like Cyber Monday, which is a great thing yeah. too. Um, but, uh, but speaking of like old stuff that you just reminded me of, you remember? I don't know if you ever experienced this. Whenever you'd go to, like to see a movie as a kid, and you wanted to go watch it, what the hell was that? What was that? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't even realize I did. You it. Said, contract, whenever you bro. went to go get a movie as a kid, <laughs> and you um. Like, you wanted to go to a movie and you didn't know the show times. And back, like, when I was a kid, like, I don't know. I don't know if it wasn't a thing or just wasn't a thing in my household. Maybe we didn't have a computer. I don't I don't know. But, like, you didn't go on. You just went to the theater not knowing what time the movie was? That, or you would have to call the theater and be like, what time is this showing? And then we would, like, get all the times and we would just go. No, I'd always go knowing the time. The only time that happened is when we were at the mall and we just spur of the moment wanted to watch a movie. Hey, my name's Kay. I had all the latest and greatest technology when I was a kid. Computer? Question mark? Did you, did, web address? Did you have a home computer as a kid? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't have one. The family had We had the family one. Like, that's what I mean. Like, the home computer, the desktop. And yeah, everybody I remember like, AOL. Like, having to oh boot up God. AOL. And it's like... Doo -doo -doo. Home phone. Remember yeah. Home phone. And then... What you, is <laughs> that? I've never seen someone ever do a phone like this. You just went home phone... <laughs> What is that? <laughs> it's a bit. The bottom like part is emblem. big. Um, and like you'd hear your mom breathing on the other end when you're trying to dirty mac a girl. Yeah. No, the worst was when I first got my first cell phone and I was just embarrassed to talk to a girl in front of my family. So I went and hid in my mom's closet to talk to her. You are a freak. It, it was bigger than my closet. There was more breathing room, sufficient leg space. But at that point, they know what you're doing. Yeah, but, they, well but they couldn't hear me. They put probably put their ears to the door. They definitely didn't. They definitely didn't. You think my mom went to the door and... Put yes, I do. <laughs> no, your mom definitely would. <laughs> no, my mom's like, like... Oh, who's my baby talking to? No, yeah. no, 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 no. You're going to have this phone call right beside me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Say it. Speaker, matter of fact. <laughs> Let me talk to the girl. <laughs> no, I just went in there and literally was just chilling and talking and like talking it up. Enjoyed those times. It was great times. Did you... Why, why do we do that though? Why do we be like... Why was it a, a weird thing to talk... I still, if I talk to girls, I don't, I don't talk to girls in front of my parents. Like, if a girl calls me, I'm... I'm oh, yeah, that's true, but... I, mean, I don't know. Maybe we just understood, like, privacy at a young age. I don't know. Just, yeah. I, I mean, I think that's... Uh, maybe that's, like, embedded in your brain, you know, like, when a monkey knows how to, like, okay. climb a tree. We know how to hide in the closet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a candle and I've got a... What's your favorite Thanksgiving side? Um, Let's have this. Let's crack this can of worms open. What was the side that you conquered the most? Some yams on Thursday. Some yams. Ooh. Hey, you know I said my mom can't Ooh. cook. My mom, she 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 puts a whole foot, whole leg. Oh my deep god! Yeah, she's she's up to the hip. Oh. oh my god! What about you? What's I'd it? say like coleslaw or something. Okay, what the hell? No, if you eat coleslaw, you're a serial killer. <laughs> what what is this? Why are you attacking my origins? <laughs> you eat like broccoli or something? <laughs> no, I'm a big, I'm a big uh, dressing or stuffing guy. It's phenomenal. Mac and cheese. Oh, what? Oh, you don't. <gasps> I don't eat mac and You're cheese. You're a freak. <laughs> oh my god, he doesn't eat mac and cheese. Uh -uh, it makes me gag. Especially why? It's the consistency. I don't like whenever it gets yogurt. Sometimes makes me gag. Yeah, it's strange. It's well, you don't like mac and cheese. No, mac and cheese is thicker. See, when it goes so, like, really. you know, whenever if I get a good Greek yogurt, it's real thick. Might hit the back of the throat uh, uh, if there's too much in the mouth. Just an honest depiction. Just an honest depiction. Nothing more. Nothing less. <laughs> So you know, back to you not liking America's pastime of a snack. And I don't side. think that's what it is. Well, mac and cheese is known by everyone. So okay, but the mac and cheese, like you know, when you're eating the food, right, it touches your lips first, right, and then it goes to your tongue. But then before it goes to your throat, it sits in that back part right here. You know what I'm saying? That's where I gag. It's ma it's like it's like a little throw up. I don't like that. It's like it's like coats the outside of my oh. of my mouth hole of the throat hole. It coats the outside of the throat hole, and it's just. <laughs> <laughs> 
playing with my uvula like that. It's just hitting like a little punch. <laughs> yeah, it's like I got you. And I'm lactose like one, intolerant. Two. <laughs> one two. <laughs> and I'm lactose intolerant. Okay. So I sit on the potty for about six hours if like, I have honestly, any kind if you're of lactose negative. intolerant. Like grow up. I feel like that's one of the things that you just like. That's come on. You you can't get lactose intolerant. Just like you don't have to wear lotion. That's the kind of with you know what I'm saying. What? That just comes with you. You're not lactose intolerant, and you don't have to wear lotion. Do I didn't get I that. What do you mean I can't get lactose intolerant? That's just not, you're not built that way. You aren't made Why? that way. Why? What, what's not built that way? My DNA? Are you trying to say that? And I do put on lotion. You don't have to, though. I have shea butter and cocoa on right now. Yeah, but that's because of your wife. I put on lotion. Okay, I will give her those props. I, I put know. on lotion before her, but she has upgraded my lotion game. I know. I used to put on just like white water. Like it was, it was, it was bad. In the samples. God, it was bad. Dude, Love you, mom, but geez. <laughs> unscented, very like creamy. But can you get ashy? Sick. Oh yeah. How? Same thing. Dry skin, elbows and knees. Are Wait, is it for me. is it showing? Yeah, it's gray. Real gray. Like, if I get ashy, it looks Start like... the Chicago Windy City Fire if I go like that for a little too long. <laughs> like, if I if I get ashy, it looks like... A <laughs> <laughs> no way. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. If I get... Oh, yeah, burp. It was a burp. Remember? Sorry, if you get ashy. If you get ashy. Because you do often. Oh, yeah. sorry that I'm not... I was a... Born with the luxury of not getting ashy. I have to lotion. I get ashy, Or I too. look like a chalkboard. <laughs> Sorry. Too. Do you? Yeah. Back to Thanksgiving food. Would you rather take... Oh, would you rather have a green bean casserole or mashed potatoes? Green bean casserole? <sighs> ne neither, really. <sighs> I'm, you don't like a good old creamy with some butter, maybe some bacon and but, mashed potatoes? But my and thing... Chives? What are you doing? Why are you flipping me off reverse? No, I'm not. I'm pointing Put at you. Put that thing down. Yeah, there you go. Those are all sick fingers. But my thing is, I don't be Simone. Yeah, she was like, she's like, y'all are hilarious. Like, what is that? But so, uh, thank you. But my I, my thing is, I don't really like Thanksgiving food like that. See, we caught him. I like a barbecue Got on him. Thanksgiving. What do you mean by that? Y you know, y'all don't do that. <laughs> well, like ribs and wings and stuff. Yeah. What do you do to your turkey? Ba make it. <laughs> I don't make the turkey. I haven't evolved into that level no, of adulthood but, yet. No, but, you know, growing up, what was it? It was more than just salt and pepper, ass. Well, where'd y'all put it to like, cook it? Um, Probably the oven. Olivia side uh, deep fries it, and it's fantastic. Oh, that's what you do too. Most people side. Oh, most people side do. I'm just living in this unsalted reality, no, huh? very, or very salted. salted, unseasoned reality. I have no. I enjoy seasoning on food greatly. No, I'm sure you enjoy it, but do you participate? <laughs> yes, that's another thing. Liv had to help me with a little bit. I didn't do as much, but now I'm there. If you ain't sneezing, it ain't seasoned. That's hard. Liv's dad taught you that, didn't he? No. <laughs> oh, who taught you? Me. Research, dedication. <laughs> Research, dedication. Research, dedication. <laughs> Sayings. What is, a, what is a funny saying for seasoning? <laughs> That's funny as hell. Okay, would you rather go cornbread or rolls? Cornbread. <sighs> That's a good pick. I'm going to go with rolls, though. I think I got so thick. Cornbread, you're not thick. You're quite frail. You're frail bones, Jones. We're going to show off the keister. That's a weird thing to do. Okay. He looks like a mannequin. Look at him. <laughs> no, I'm thick, and I'm thick back there. Turkey or ham? Ham. I mean, a good honey glazed ham is hard to beat, oh but God. turkey is like the reason for the season. Turkey is just... Whew. How do you bake your ham? How do I bake my ham? I don't know. Probably in the oven. <laughs> I don't know. Get off me. <laughs> uh, brownies or cookies? What kind of brownies? Fudgy ones. We'll oh, go, I don't like fudge. We'll Makes go, me shit. We'll go six out of ten fudginess. Super soft in the middle. Mm -mm. But a good crunch on like the outside fudge. the outside layer. Fudge makes you shit. Where it hits the, the like corner of the Pyrex. Fudge makes you shit. <laughs> All right. Like um, oh, but if I do get a brownie, <laughs> if I do get a brownie, it has to be a corner piece. Yes, 100%. Oh, because you get that. 
Hundred percent. You get the crunch with the oh, sauce. Ooh, Whew. ooh, ooh. You want to trim each other's noses? Nope. Stop that. Okay. Sorry. Why would you even ask me that? Because I saw the weed whacker. Use manscaped.com promo code PSH to check out for twenty percent of free worldwide shipping. What is wrong with you? Potato, you potato salad or broccoli cheddar and rice casserole? I didn't even. I'm. I don't, I've never. Honestly, I don't like either though. I don't really like either, but if I had to, I'd go casserole to casserole. I'm sure you would. Oh, I'm sure you would. <laughs> I bet your plate is turkey and four different kinds of casseroles with cornflakes and all the other unnecessary stuff on top. <gasps> Ooh! With raisins. <laughs> and Mountain Dew. Mm. <laughs> Dr. Pepper or Coke? Diet Coke. Oh, yeah, you are a DC guy. Uh, I, mean, I don't drink any sodas, so. Ooh, my name's Cam. I'm super soda. healthy, and I put Greek yogurt on my dog's food. She needs it for a good probiotic. Anyway. How's her foot doing? It's doing good. She's still nursing it. She's a little wimp, but she, she has is. a little cut on her paw. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> I get to see. I, I got to see Malcolm. You did? Yeah, he's old. He is old. He's old and fat. I love he's, him so much. He's an immortal pup, though. He, oh my God! Knock on wood, though. <laughs> so I hope that's wood. No, that's not. We're just gonna act like it is. Yeah. Oh, there's wood in here somewhere. Yeah. Once that dog's gone, I'm gone. So, um, there's something that throat get a little strep. A little side of strep. You're gonna spill. You're gonna spill. You spilt. You're spilling more. It's literally coating your lips. You spilt on the carpet. There's film. There's proof. Swallow. One thing about me is if there's a hair on my food, that whole establishment dead to me. I do not understand. What was that face? Please tell me. That if there's Nine. a hair on your, f please tell me that if there's a hair on your food, you're disposing of that food. Eight out of eight and a half out of ten circumstances, yes. I know. If you see strange, loose hair on your meal and you are just removing it and enjoying that cuisine, you belong under the prison, never to see you. You create diseases. That is no, no. That it might be the nastiest thing a human being could ever do is if you're you're just removing loose hair. Okay, but the one and a half to one circumstances that I do it is if I'm just too hungry. I just could. I don't. I've have never a, been that hungry. I, I have. I don't have a care in the world. If I if it's a it, okay if it's a long Rapunzel Rapunzel let down your hair like it's coat and everything yeah but if it's a little small one I might remove it scoop the part that it was touching get rid of it and enjoy the rest. Say you're at a stranger's house, right? And they cooked up a nice meal for you, right? And there's just a thick old hair. Just a, in the a long one. Just one singular long hair, right? What are you doing? I'm, pr I'm probably... If I'm, at a str okay, if I'm at a stranger's house, first I need to know where I'm at. But regardless of that, I'm probably going to show respect, remove it, not draw, oh! not draw a scene... Maybe remove the piece it was touching and consume the rest. Don't, oh, you're a sick, nasty boy. You are nasty. You are a nasty human. You are a nasty, nasty man. I cannot be the only one. Like, I don't agree with the hair. I will remove it <sighs> eight to nine out of ten times. But if I'm sitting, say, Chili's again, great establishment until you took away the 225. Say I'm sitting there for 40 minutes for my food and it comes out. If I send it back for a hair, I'm probably just going to up and leave. But the only reason I'm there is because I'm hungry enough to treat myself and more than likely live to a dinner. <clears throat> I'm probably going to... I don't know. It's tough. I feel like it shouldn't be tough, but I'm sticking to my guns. It's tough. I might remove the hair. That... That could like there is a a list of things that are disgusting in this world. That might be the w one of the top ones. Again, nine out of ten times I'm removing the hair, but <laughs> there's always that that one. Maybe I'm so hungry I don't want to wait. It's been a horrible experience. Oh, this is really gonna test your nastiness. If it's your dog's hair on your food. Oh no no no, that's different. She's a beast. I would take that off and eat it. I'm kidding. Oh! I'm kidding. That was a joke. That was a joke. No, I would literally remove Ruby's hair. And I, eat it. Oh, no, you're nasty. No, remove you, Ruby's hair, and I would not eat it. She's a, she's an animal. You're nasty. Like I understand that a, a hairnet could be faulty, and they're like, it's not like they intentionally planted their hair. If one fell in there, is that gross? Yes. 
Is there? Oh, the more I talk about it, it's very. <laughs> you gross. are nasty. I'm starting bro. to understand <gasps> the nastiness, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just. Maybe that's one of my toxic traits. Again, nine out of ten times. You I'm need to go in. brush your teeth. I'm, I brushed, flossed, and uh, mouthwash this morning. No, you need to go put like nighttime. bleach in there. <laughs> you need like that is. You you making me look at you different. Kodak. Do you bathe? Yeah. It's making me think you don't. Uh, three days, three weeks. Bad week. I mean, bad, bad month. month. <laughs> bad month. Yeah. Bad month. That'll never happen to me. No, I'm going. I'm going. Removing the hair nine out of ten times, but there's always that one. Never count me out. That's a sick thing. To say. You're a nasty, nasty individual. I don't understand that though. I'm not gonna lie. In terms of nastiness, I think you still have me beat, even including this one, bro. But there's a thing with me. Like loose hair is my. You're losing. <laughs> loose hair I've is. I've won. <laughs> loose hair is my biggest fear. Like I hate loose hair. I don't even care if it's on food. You like, have said that before. So, if it's okay, just but anywhere. Now I, understand, now I understand why you hate it so much. It's nasty, bro. Like it just the looking at it, it's like a little, it's like a little physical ghost. Like it's just like, <laughs> like there. Like this was the hair of the one spot. And then I'll be damned if I'm consuming that, bro. Imagine that loose hair going down your throat, no, bro. Okay, at that point, if, <laughs> You're if, the hair, if the hair gets in my mouth, I'm pulling. I'm. It's, if I'm. If the hair nasty. gets in my mouth, I'm having a conversation with the owner. That's that's a fact. You're if gross. If it's in my mouth, I'm spitting it out and demanding take that off the bill, something like that. But if it comes out and I see it on top, I might because it's like the whole thing's already been. That's a difference. There's a big difference. If it's in the bottom, to where like that was in there, and it's been marinating. No, I'm not eating it. But if there's one right on top of something on a whole plate of food, and there's one little hair on top of it. I'm probably gonna remove that, remove the piece it was touching, continue with the rest of the meal. God! If say 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 it's some form of pasta, if I'm going six, seven, eight bites of six, seven, eight bites of you just gagged. Six, seven, eight bites of Alfredo, then there's a black hair in my white sauce. Yeah, I'm out of there. I'm gonna really be upset. My stomach's not gonna like me. It's gonna be mental warfare. But if I get that Alfredo and there's a black hair sitting right on top, I'm scooping under the entire establishment that that's touching plopping it on a plate, still telling them there's a hair. If they offer to give it, send it back, make a new one, and I know it's not going to be a time crunch, of course, but if not, I'm, I'm eating it. Oh, nasty. Sick individual. Sick. You're making me, don't look at me like that. You, what else are you hiding? <laughs> Dog, you, you are the type, see, you're a five second rule type of person. You're the type of person, if it drops on the floor, and like your food drops on the floor, you're like, nah, it's five second rule, and you're, you're eating it, aren't you? Lie and say you're not. Depends. Oh, oh my God, you're eating sediment and hair. Sediment and hair diet. You're a nasty boy. If, no, if it's a clean floor. Nasty, nasty if man. It, basically, if it's my floor. What's a clean floor? If it's my floor at my house, I'll do it. Cam, my if sneaker's been all over your floor. So, and I vacuum, and we clean. Weekly, every week, we clean. Your dog walks all over your floor. Mm, she's cute though. Oh <laughs> my god! Finally, it's not me that's being the sicko. You're a nasty man. Whatever. You're a nasty man. <laughs> and a man that eats his cookies and Alfredo with black hair in it. Oh, Ooh. that's sick. Yeah, I can't even say that. That's that's bad. Sick. I don't, bro. Mm -mm. Like, especially the fact that you're saying Alfredo because Alfredo already makes me gag. You're I, just you're eight. Like you're eight years old, and you eat hair, and you're eight, and you eat floor food. <laughs> okay, you're nasty. You didn't bathe for seventy-five percent of a month. Seventy-five percent of a month. Did you ever smell me? So you're so you're a con artist too. You're a, an unbathing con artist. I'm trying to think of weird stuff you did as a roommate. Not much to it, and you know there's not. Outside of wearing the same hoodie every day. <laughs> the same Roche runs. Yeah. Of that, no, they were Hirachis. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they were Hirachis. They were Hirachis. They had a hole in the front and everything. I was looking at some of our old college videos. We were weird. I know. We need to scavenge through again. And, I put them uh, in the Discord the other day. Mm. Mm. We need to scavenge through again. Bring the pe What? <laughs> Guess you didn't see that. <clears throat> Sorry. Another burp. You want to sing? Sure. I don't want to with you. Okay. You're nasty to me. That's crazy. Um, anything else? You ready for Christmas? I am very ready for Christmas. A uh, big, exciting <laughs> announcement <laughs> here probably next episode or the episode after that uh, regarding Christmas, regarding the podcast. So 
Definitely be tuned in. Continue to watch. Obviously, we love all the support and everything. Um, yes, so two out of the four winners. Two out of the four winners have been chosen, so there's two more weeks of the Ultimate Giveaway. Remember, every single purchase of merch gets you added to that. Every single purchase of merch, $50 or higher, is going to get you added Manscaped. to the pool for an entire performance package sponsored and brought to you by Manscaped, the one and only. They're amazing. Uh, they love you all so much. They want to give back this season of giving so any purchase get a chance to win one of the original staples from season one merch drop any purchase 50 or higher you get a chance to win the performance package from manscape remember in the next couple of episodes we're obviously going to announce the last two winners for the four remaining never going to be seen on earth again four remaining i think it's under that it's under that yeah four remaining winners or four remaining t-shirts staples from season one Signed by both me and Uncle P. And uh, there's only two left. Two have already been claimed. Completely random. Two more are going to get complained. Complained? Con com mm. cla oh, oh, oh. <laughs> claimed. Cla what is happening? Hold, hold two more are going to get claimed. Oh. <laughs> two more are going to get him. <laughs> two more are going to get claimed in the next two weeks. We're going to have a very special uh, Christmas shout out announcement regarding the podcast and the upcoming future uh it's gonna be fantastic we hope you had an amazing 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 thanksgiving got to spend time with friends family amazing food uh hopefully most of you got off work a little time to just relax enjoy yourself look at this goof uh yeah black friday shopping hopefully you took advantage of it and if not make sure you take advantage today with cyber monday and Oh, thank you to everybody that got merch on the youshinostudios.com backslash shop. Friday, yeah, Black Friday sale. That Black Friday great. sale. Y'all did. Y'all y'all really used it. And there's going to be uh, some new merch for Christmas. Oh, did you? Oopsie. Ooh. Some new Christmas merch. It's going to be limited Oopsie. for a little bit of time. So, uh, Oopsie. So, yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the You Should Know podcast. I uh, love you all so much. The secret code is... I got one. H O F. I already know what it is. Hair on food. Hair on food. H O F. Hair on food is a secret code today. Nine times out of ten, I'm taking it out. There's just, You're just you a never, nasty you sediment eating, know. hair you eating, extension netter, e eating. You netter know? What is happening? You need to go to bed. You have passed your delusion to me. <laughs> Dude, we had one of those laughing stints again. Yeah, oh my God. Thank God it was, it was shorter. It was still ridiculous, yeah. though. But yes, we love you so, so much. Remember, one out of ten. Ooh, got some hide on that. One out of two koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. I will see you. Hey, the watch party on Discord. Hello. See ya.